everyone, welcome back to Wild and Free Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make crisscross uh, binding, also known as corset binding. This binding is done on two signatures, so you always need an even number of signatures. So let's get started. As always, the first thing you need to do is to make a template. In this case, I have four signatures, so I am going to be using one, two, three, four, five holes, and I am going to be crisscrossing in sets of two. Once you've prepared your template, it's time to punch the holes in the spine of your book and in your signatures. I have everything prepared and ready. Now, here I decided to do something a bit weird. Um, I wanted to put that white lace around the first and last signatures. And I can tell you this, if I were to do this again, I probably would omit the lace um, because it was very, very hard for me to see the holes once I had punched them because of the pattern of the lace. However, uh, and you'll see me trying to go through it quite a few times. It does look beautiful though at the end, I have to say, so maybe it was worth it. Anyway, here I am sorting my lace and I'm going to be punching all the holes in the spine and the signatures next. So my next step is to prepare my thread. I'm using a nice bright pink uh, embossing, um, sorry, embroidery floss, not embossing, embroidery floss. And for each signature, I'm going to do two lengths of the, um, of the spine. So in my case, I have four signatures, four times two, that's eight times uh, the length of the book. And then I am going to wax it um, to help avoid knots and tangles and other such fun things as I did. Um, another thing to note is obviously I'm working on two signatures at a time. So my eight lengths are actually divided into two sets of string. So two by four lengths, if that makes sense. I hope it does. So after I've waxed my thread, uh, my thread, it's time to thread my needle and begin stitching the signatures into the cover of your book. As always, I tend to work my way from back to front. Um, so right now I'm working on the fourth and third signatures um, in the book. So you start from the top hole of the back signature, if you're doing it Obviously my way, if you do it the other way, you can start the other way around. But I go in from the top hole to the outside and here you can see me struggling to find my holes. I will try and cut out those bits um, throughout the video where I sit there and just fight with the holes in the spine. So you're going to come out from the top, so work from the inside, leave a good length of tail. In there, um, I ended up putting a bulldog clip on that so that it would stop sliding around because there is a lot of moving around and sliding in this kind of stitch. So the next thing you're going to do is go back into the cover on the second hole of your third signature. So you're going to be making a diagonal in this way. Once you've come back in, you're going to go back up to the top hole in your third signature and back out to the spine. So once you've come out of that, you're going to go back on the diagonal, back into the first signature you put in, which in my case is the fourth, into the second hole, making your very first X. So you're going to go back in through the second hole and into the second hole on your signature. So 
So once you've come back in, make sure your X is nice and tight uh, because this is where you're going to be tying it. So basically you're making miniature X's and so your tension needs to be good for each X that you do. So here I've just tied it into a square knot and made sure that my X is nicely done and just trimming off any excess if you want to. Then at this point you're going to skip back out and go out through your next hole. So the third hole of the last signature back out on the third hole and we're basically going to be repeating the process. So you're going to pull it nice and tight, make sure everything is good, and then you're going to go up diagonally again into the second hole of the third signature, so of the other signature that you're working on at the time. So once you're back in into your second signature, you're going to go back through your third, out onto the spine, to then do the other part of your X and come back across and then go diagonal back into the second signature, the second hole of your first signature, if that makes sense. Again, go back through again and tighten your X before moving on to the next hole in your signature. So now we are on hole number uh, four. So you're going to poke that through the spine again and basically repeat going across into the other signature, coming back out the next hole and across again to make an X. again you're going to check everything is nice and tight and come back out through the next hole to do the other cross. Once you reach the last cross, just do another square knot uh, to secure your uh, string. I've re I always go underneath the string that's before just to be extra safe that it doesn't wiggle around. And then trim any excess or keep it if you want to then add dangles to it or whatever. And then you're basically going to repeat the exact same process on the next two sets of signatures. So this is what your first cross stitch should look like. Now on to the next.
this is the second set pretty much done. I am just going to tie the knot. I did not quite measure my uh, thread as, as precisely in the second signature, but I just made it, thankfully, lucky for me. Um, so yeah, now I've tightened it up and it's pretty much ready to go. If you want to go with more signatures, you can keep going in pairs for as long as you want. And now, as soon as I'm done tying this and taking off the clips, I will show you the finished book. And this is it. This is the cross stitch binding. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and please feel free to share if you think it'll help someone else. Uh, Give this channel a subscribe if you find it interesting so you don't miss anything else and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and happy crafting!